strong inner struggles are great news? Yes, seriously. They are absolutely terrific for human spaceflight, as long as Butch and Sonny come back safe. Let's dig into it. Starlander's stay at the ISS was originally set for eight days. NASA and Boeing are being vague about when astronauts Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams might return. To a lot of people that don't trust Boeing, for obvious reasons, Boeing and NASA are covering something up. We are ready for the event. The important thing to remember with this mission is the two excellent astronauts. Butch Wilmore, Navy combat pilot, test pilot, and test pilot instructor. In 2000, he joined NASA. He has flown to ISS on shuttle, Soyuz, and Starliner. He was assigned to the Starliner project in 2020. Sonny Williams, also a Navy test pilot, but helicopters instead of jets. She joined NASA in 1998. Like Butch, she's flown to ISS on shuttle, Soyuz, and Starliner. She was assigned to Starliner development in 2015. In short, two very capable and experienced astronauts, exactly who you'd want on a mission with the new space capsule. The popular narrative is that Starliner continues to have failure after failure, but is that true? All my data flashing on the flight over trash. The only issue, there's a, a fair amount of, I think it's RCS jet residue on the window, outside the window. Starliner Houston on a big loop uh, for words for the jet fails that we have. See the uh, B2A2 jet fail failed off. Butch and Sonny are not stranded in space. Our plan is to return them on Starliner. And also totally understand the helium margins uh, before we undock. You know, what we're doing is not unusual for a new spacecraft. Again, this is a test flight. We were expecting to find some things, and so we are finding stuff, and we're, we're correcting it and making changes, making updates. This is a tough business that we're in. Human spaceflight is not easy. Um, I, I feel confident that if we had to, if we can get in our spacecraft and we can undock, talk to our team, and figure out the best way to come home. Um, yeah, we've, like I said, we've practiced a lot, so I have a feeling, I have a, a real good feeling in my heart that uh, the spacecraft will, br will bring us home, no problem. But wanted, what we want to know is that the thrusters can perform. Um, if whatever their percentage of thrust is, we can put it into a package that will get us a deorbit burn. That's the main purpose that we need the service module, to get us a good deorbit burn so that we can come back. You know, our OMAC thrusters, our bigger ones, uh, we haven't really had a problem with them. So we, you know, we are very confident in the deorbit burn capability with the number of OMACs that we have. It's just that attitude from the RCS thrusters. So, um, you know, with a little bit, if, it, if they are degraded, we'll find out if they really are degraded, um, what that combination is to get us the right attitude. And I, I think with the number of jets we have, we're probably going to find something really positive. So beyond... Um, guessing, I, I think that's as good as I'm going to give you as an answer. We are very close and f uh, friends with those that are making these decisions, and we trust them, we trust their integrity. Starliner's growing pains are an opportunity for Boeing to rediscover its engineering roots. Is that naive? Sure. What's the alternative? Also, it's good for things not to work if you can learn from them and people are not harmed. The SpaceX Starlink 9-3 second stage failure on July 11th shows just how precarious our access to space is. With Falcon 9 temporarily grounded, only the Soyuz and Atlas V can get to the ISS. The FAA anomaly process will hopefully not take too long. No one in good faith doubts that SpaceX will solve the Falcon 9 issues. They welcome the opportunity to improve, especially since it didn't affect humans or their own customers. SpaceX has been open and transparent about it, and this is what Boeing and NASA need to emulate. Listen to Butch and Sonny. Did they believe in Starliner? These astronauts are showing the determination to meet this challenge. This is what they do. Let's hope for the safe return. Let me know what you think. Is it a mistake to trust Boeing? Leave your thoughts in the comments, and thanks for watching.